There's a sacred fire! Oh, dust clops! Big mistake, baby! Doesn't even matter, you're dead. Bye bye! Good afternoon, Pokemon Sports, I'll turn on the VGC Battle Sim Regulation <laughs> video, bringing you a fortress team. Now, listen. I've always said for a very long time that the day I use a Pineco team on the channel is the day that I retire. And honestly, we're not that far off. <laughs> we have a Fortress here. But you know what? Fortress does get Explosion, does get Gyro Ball, does get Body Press, and does get very high defenses. But the thing here that is interesting that I want to point out is Power Trick. So what we can do is we can Power Chip, replace our attack with our defense, and then go for an Explosion with Normal Para and then helping hand boost it next to a dust clops, and then blow up the enemy side of the field. Will it happen in today's video? I sure as heck hope so. And I sure as heck hope we, we can grab some some wins with this team as well. Um, I don't know how great it's gonna do in the current meta, but I do know that Fortress can do a lot of damage. The only thing that I'm a little scared about, and I, and I, don't, I don't have this problem with just Fortress, I have this problem when I use Final Gambit Annihilate on like tri Annihilate on Trick Room teams too. It's like when I KO my own Pokemon, I feel like I'm putting myself at a disadvantage immediately, especially uh, if you're not able. If it, if it's a one for one, then definitely. But the whole thought process is, is that hopefully the explosion the explosion can make it a two for one, and then you'll put yourself at an at an advantage. But I don't know. I tend to struggle with these kinds of teams. So we'll see how this goes in today's video. Also, rest of the team is kind of just a standard Trick Room stuff. We have the Raging Bolt there for the speed control and the Thunder Clappage and the Priority Moves. We have the Instant for the Fake Out, the Frigidaire for the Secondary Trick Room and Priority Stoppage, and then Blurse to do Blurse things. If you guys are excited to see Fortress in action, go ahead, hit the like button, have a little subscribe to Pokesports if you haven't done so already. And also thank you so much, Hoodly Doodly on Discord. Love that name. I love saying that name out loud. Hoodly Doodly. Hoodly Doodly Doodly Hoodly. Thank you, uh, thank you so much for posting this team on the Pokesports Discord. Remember, if you guys want to go ahead and post your teams on the Pokesports Discord, links to that are down below in the description. I went that set. Let's get on through today's video. We got a rain team here, folks. Rain plus Trick Room E team. Honestly, my team is a lot slower than their team, so I don't mind that at all. I think. I don't think I mind it at all, but hey. Who knows? They also do have some fake outers on their side of the field with anti-priority stuff also on their side of the field. We'll just deal with it. It's not the end of the world. We don't have to bring for a giraffe. It's not mandatory to bring for a giraffe here. It just would be kind of nice. But it's all good. I think I know which four I'm locking. I think I want the strat to happen right away. I, I like I think that even if it doesn't work, this is the whole point of today's video. It's to get the power trick. Go for the defense swaps, normal Terra, explode, helping hand, take two things out. I want it to happen at least once in today's video, whether I win or lose. <laughs> because the thing with doing that is that, yes, I am knocking out my own Pokemon, right? But I'm hopefully trading two for one. Now, if they protect, I'm not doing that. But hey, that's the risk you take, I guess. As for a Blood Moon, a Blood Moon is the only thing I need to outspeed that whole team. I might want to save Terrestrialization for Blood Moon. Especially if they have that Ogre Pond there, but... I might not be able to. I might have to hard commit to the... Oh, they're running out of time. Oh, they rain out of time. They do Politoed and Blur Sleed, maybe? Would be an interesting one. Politoed Blurs, does that knock me out? I don't think so. No, I should be fine. They won't even be able to stop my Trick Room if they do that. So yeah, we should be golden. Alright, let's see what their actual lead is. Ogre Pond Earth. Okay, so they didn't run out of time. They just almost ran out of time. Alright, we found Wellspring Mask and... AV. Alright, I just Trick Room. And neither one of these Pokemon can just one-shot me here, so. I think I just power trick. Keep it nice and simple. Not overthink this. At the very least, the Blurs can't protect. I know that the Wellspring Ogre Pond can, but we will get there when we get there. It's a very big no damage turn for us here. And I don't know how obvious my explosion is right now, but I think it's a little bit more obvious once they see the power trick. 
All right, thankfully we still have defense right now. Followed by the blood moon, we should get a blood moon. Yeah, we're fine. Hey, okay, we're we're no big deal here. No big deal whatsoever. All right, my attack and defense are now switched. And trick room, it's now up. And just like that, it's time. We helping hand. I still don't think I want it to rast the last. But I also don't think I have a choice. I think a helping hand is enough. If I don't knock out this blur, so I'm gonna be a little upset, but I, I think a helping hand is enough. I don't have to burn terrestrialization here. Also, they didn't protect. Or did they? They do spiky shield, okay. So my only goal here is to attack a Blurse. I'm going to trade a Blurse for a Fortress. Wish me luck. Please do damage. Please do enough damage. Kaboom. Dang it, man. That was underwhelming. Oh, I need it to normal tear, I guess. Fall by the Earth Power. All right, all right, all right. I get it. You're strong Pokemon. You're strong Pokemon. Okay. Uh, into my own Blurse now. Now I have to Fairy Terra. And I have to win a Speed Tie. There's so many things I have to do right now. Alright. I'm gonna go for the Willow. Fairy Terra. And then just keep it simple. I'm gonna Hyper Voice. Alright. Unfortunately, Fortress... <laughs> didn't do what I intended. But hey, we still got a couple more battles this video so that I can I can I could try to make it happen a little better. <laughs> oh no. I'm gonna swap out the ogre pun actually, okay. Go into the I, I wouldn't mind burning that too. Listen, I'll burn everything that I can. Keep in mind, like I said before, I also have to win a speed tie. So I can only hope that my Blurse is min speed and theirs is legitimate. <laughs> Alright, Willow. Got the Willow. Beautiful. They got a burnt hand now. Mm, they outsped me. But thankfully they just went for the Hyper Voice. Alright. We just hit him with the Hyper Voice in return. Fair enough. Not too serious, just not too great either. Alright, well we still have a couple more Trick Room turns. And still nothing that Ogre Pond can do to either one of my Pokemon, so... Do they even go into the Ogre Pond is a question. No, they go into the NC. They get a free fake out here. They get a double fake out here. Oh, that's annoying. So that's gonna be how they work around my Trick Room turns, huh? They still can't do anything to my Pokemon, though. And that's the harsh reality. So I think I'm just gonna double attack. Double into the NC, specifically. It's just gonna be Clap Clap. That'll burn a turn to Trick Room. Then they'll hard swap into probably Ogre Pond on one of their two fake out spots, most likely the Incineroar. Keep the Incineroar as safe as possible. My goal here is to knock the Incineroar out if I can. If they don't fake out with the Incin, they might have thrown the game to me. Alright, they do. Oh, they switch over to Ice Punch. Okay. That scares me a little. Big damage onto the Incin, though. All right, well, now they got to worry. I think I T-Bolt into the instant again. And then Blood Moon the hands. Get rid of this stupid thing. Also covers me for the Ogre Pond switching on the hand spot. Oh, they're going to Terrastalize something. Really? What? The instant? 
And to grass to take the T-Ball. Oh, okay. Is this just for the parting shot? What if I hyper-voiced? I don't think Drain Punch helps them. This game's getting a little bit more interesting now. Ooh, they have Stomping Tantrum on their Incineroar, but we live at one! Woo! Secret Sash! Oh, but so do they. Oh, this game is getting too interesting now. I'm not liking how interesting this game is getting. I'm not liking it at all. Their instant outsped my Blood Moon, by the way. Is that not wild to anyone else? Just me? Alright, I have to protect here. And now I have to go for the Hyper Voice. And I have to knock out that instant, even from a Follow Me. And then I'll be able to Thunderclap and do some things with my Blurs. That might be my only way through. I think my Blurs can live in Ivy Cudgel. Maybe. It's not super effective and I'm only at half health, but we'll see. Alright, here's a Protect. I gotta hope they're a little bit worried about the th Thunderclap. Oh, they Horn Leech. Oh, okay. Don't know why they did that, but I'm not complaining. Hyper Voice! I know Speed Tears! And now, now they gotta deal with two Thunderclaps or a Blood Moon. And I don't think they, they have that in them. Alright, Thunderclap. And Blood Moon. Yep. Here's a Thunderclap. Big damage, knocking him out. Unfortunately, Fortress didn't get to do many things today. It did almost knock out a, a Blood Moon, but like I said earlier, still got a couple more battles left in this uh, in this video. To see if Fortress can accomplish the one thing that it's destined to do, and that's die with a cause. On to the next one. They got a Trick Room team too. The difference is, I think mine is slower, River. Also, not too big of a fan of that Flutter Man. Especially when I'm trying to do explosions, uh, explosion shenanigans. Do I have Gyro Ball? I do. Okay, so I should just be able to get rid of the Flutter Man like it's nobody's business. So I guess it's not that serious. Okay, let's do it. We're exploding. Dusclops plus Fortress in the lead. They also do have like ESP stuff on their side of the field. And they have anti-priority stuff on their side of the field. I definitely want my blurs here though. And last but not least, let's have a little bit of a raging bolt action. Just to have a way to deal with their their ogre pawn. There's not much an ogre pawn can do to a raging bolt. So we just attack it multiple times until the game ends. That's all we gotta do. All right, my opponent Porygon 2 over here. What leads you bringing? Anti-Trick Room or just straight Trick Room? Straight Trick Room, okay. Game's gonna get interesting. Game's gonna get real interesting right about now. We found a Citrus Berry. And I wasn't paying attention to the other one. Okay, here's what I do. I just attempt to set it up. Because I lose nothing by trying. And I don't think they try to set it up on me. Because why would they? I'm slower. They know I'm slower. They might just trick my trick room to trick room to trick room that I'm trick rooming. But if they don't trick my trick room that they're trick rooming, we get to trick room up. Or they just leave. <laughs> I guess that works too. Into the end, say. Hey. Oh. They definitely want to hurt my fortress, and they definitely trick room my trick room, by the way. Okay. I don't think this changes anything, though. Does it? I hope not. Because now I just explode. I normal terror explosion. Do I helping hand boost it?
I might get Sacred Fire burnt. That's the that's the other issue I'm seeing. I'm gonna help hand boost it. I'm agreed. Listen, there's a coin flip. I lose this. There's a coin flip that my that my my fortress does absolutely nothing this turn. That's the coin flip I'm doing. Because now that my attacks are my defenses and my defenses are my attacks, I'm not going to take this hit too well. But I will do a lot of damage if I don't get burnt. And I think with Sturdy, I should still take everything. All right, let's clap for our fortress. You be a good boy, fortress. There's a sacred fire. Oh, dust clops. Big mistake, baby. Explosion. Oh, they were gonna trick him. I trick him again. Doesn't even matter. You're dead. Bop. Bye bye. Everybody's gone now. <laughs> oh, baby. All right, that felt good. Oh. Good luck with them, Pokemon. Now what? Um, <laughs> problem is, they were going to set Trick Room for me, so that that's unfortunate. <laughs> so now I'm kind of in an awkward situation. I do have my own Blurse, though. This is not the end of the world. My Blurse has an Assault Vest. So I'll just go right on into it. Oh, as they have a Dersh. Okay. Not the greatest thing ever, if I'm going to be real and honest. I do have Moonblast for that, though. I think I just go for it. And then we try to burn it. We got to neutralize this Dersh. All right, they switch over to CC. Fair enough. Oh, we live at two, though. Okay. Oh, Blood Moon. You're going to burn that into my Earth, though? Fine. And we got the Willow. Okay. We're gaming again. We're gaming again. We're gaming again. Um, Problem is... I don't have the right Pokemon to deal with that Blood Moon Ursa Luna. Because they outsped my Blood Moon Ursa Luna. I do have Dragon Pulses and Protects and, and all that stuff. But mm, it might not matter. Especially since Nightshade won't do anything either. I'm tempted to Will-O-Wisp. Well, they can't Blood Moon me this turn, right? They burnt it, so... I might be okay to just go for the... Dragon Pulse plus Helping Hand. Let's try it. They can only Blood Moon me next turn because they used it last turn. And the Dirt shouldn't be able to one-shot anything here. Even better. Works for me. They're not Choice Banded, so that's good to know too. Oh, it's so close! I might still be able to do something. I'm about to get Blood Mooned, though, so I don't know if I will be able to do something. But we're going to give it a shot. I'm going to try. This isn't good. This is bad. This is real bad. They're going Dark Terror Durst, too. Man, man. I knew I should have protected. If I protected and burnt... And then Helping Hand boosted and did my Dragon Pulse. I would have been in such a good spot, man. I threw that. I, I quite literally threw that game. I had it set up for me. I threw it all away. I just had to not get greedy and burn the bear first. But knowing me, I would have missed that burn anyway. So it doesn't even matter. Let's try to end off on a win. Oh god, this is going to be the world's longest game. They got such a tanky team. I think even if I do get my stuff set up, 
Even if I do get the power trip going, even if I do explode, everything here is gonna live. <laughs> they got Ting Lu, they got Iron Defense, Coma O, Porygon 2, Amongus, NC, and then Fluttermane. Oh, what do we even do? Even Trick Room doesn't, doesn't really help us out too much. Okay. I'm gonna go Clops and Fortress. Because I, I, unironically, that, that might be our best way to one-shot an Amoongus is to explode. That's the sad, honest truth. We'll bring our Blood Moon in the back. Then I guess I need my Raging Neck too. Because if they're gonna set up their Como -O with Iron Defense Body Press, I'm gonna need a Dragon type to, re to really, like, you know, deal with it as well as I can. All right, Toto. I don't know why you want to have this much time on the ranked ladder, but my my friend, fine, we're, we'll play this one out. They leave Como Ensign right away. I can explode here though. Are they just gonna iron defense in front of me? They might. They're lefties and safety goggles on Ensign, okay. I think I Trick Room, Normal Terra, and Power Trick first. I might not knock out the Como O if they set up one Iron Defense. But I might be able to do a significant amount of damage, which is all that I really got to do here. All right, there's the Iron Defense. Unfortunate. Honestly, I might still be able to knock them out. Surprisingly so. They just knock off my Dust Clops. That's fine. We still get the Trick Room up. We still get the Power Trick off. And we can still blow up next turn. They have to see this coming though, right? There's no way they don't. They do have a Flutter Man they can switch into, which is not the greatest thing ever. I almost wonder if I should like Will-O-Wisp here and just wait a turn. I think I really want to predict the Flutter Main swap onto this Ensign and go for the Gyro Ball. Tell me I'm real. Tell me I'm a real gamer. Okay, well. That's fine, too. I caught him on the Protect. Does that mean they don't have Flutter here? They can't Parting Shot a uh, Clear Amulet. Oh, they tried. Alright, well, now I'm gonna help it. Now I'm gonna just do it. Now I'm just gonna explode. I showed him a Gyro Ball. Maybe that's the fake bait. Maybe they don't have it here. <laughs> no, I have it. It's here! Kaboom. They didn't terrestrialize Como O2, so that's great news for us. See how much damage we can do here, even at plus two defense Como o. We're straight knocking it out, baby! Woo! Oh, I, oh, oh, oh! Double crit? Maybe that's why. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Alrighty. Okay. Relax, Fortress. Relax. It's not that serious. Chill out, man. It's okay. All right. Now, we're in Trick Room. And we got a bear. Last time I checked, those are good maths for us. Those are very good maths. P2, not the greatest. And Ding Lu, uh-oh. Ding Dong's here. But like, what damage do they have right now, though? Not really. Like, I can... Granted, they just, they just get special attack boost. I can go for the Willow here on the Ding Lu. Yeah, I'm gonna double the Ding Lu. Start off with the Blood Moon. 
Do as much as I possibly can. They definitely have Ice Beam on their thing. But, you know, we can't really do anything about that. We can't do is burn a Dinglu, though. Beautiful. All right, they at least have no physical presence on this team anymore. And it's going to have to be Porygon 2 versus... My Raging Bolt in the back. That is not doing damage, though. Oh, they have Snarl. This is going to get annoying. They could still really whittle me down with this now. And then there's their Ice Beam. All right. I think I should double burn. We Willow here. And go for the Hyper Voice, yeah. Burns are gonna have to really, really help against, against our opponent, especially if they have Recover here on the P2, which they might. All right, it's a very slow chip, but it's a chip regardless. They go for my Clops. I wish I had Pain Split right about now, but I don't. Second Ice Beyond to my Urse. No freeze. Good, good, good. All right, I'm going to have to start Nightshading some things. I think I have one more turn Trick Room left. I was wrong. All right, I don't actually want Trick Room, though. I'm going to go for the Nightshade. And I think I just accept death here. Yep, there's the Ice Beam. I will be going down. See how much the Nightshade can do. I should live a Snarl. Yep, nice. Okay, good. Man's got a helping hand this following turn. All right, can Raging Bolt do this though? Probably not, <laughs> unfortunately, is the sad truth. All right, well, let's go for it anyway. Let's go for the Helping Hand. Let's go for the T-Bolt on Porygon too. This Tinglu is mitigating our damage incredibly right now. Which is why I really would love to hit this Tinglu right now, but the sad reality is this Porygon 2 is the actual problem for me, not the Tinglu. And honestly, the Porygon 2 is also getting its damage mitigated by this Tinglu as well. So maybe keeping the Tinglu alive is the win condition. Shockingly. Don't recover. They trick room. That's fine. I got an extra burn turn here. Problem is they can recover next turn with this Porygon too. If Ice Beam, Trick Room, probably recover, yeah. I should still T-Ball at the Porygon too. Oh, they have Ruination. Oh no. Another Ice Beaming? Come on, come on, come on! No! No! I lost to Toto! The Ruination really did make the difference there at the end. Dang, this doesn't happen often, but taking home two losses in today's video doesn't feel good. Doesn't feel good whatsoever, but honestly, Toto didn't want to have fun with that last battle anyway, the second they locked in that team. Ugh. The thing is, like, we got the explosion thing to happen twice. It just didn't matter both times. And that's the sad truth of it all. Hoodly doodly, thank you so much anyway for going ahead and posting this team on the Pokesports Discord. Taking home two losses in today's video, though, never feels too good. But hey, that could just be me as a player, not knowing how to use a fortress effectively. Not necessarily the team. If you guys think you can do better with me than uh, on this team, go ahead and try it out. Join the rental code or the rank ladder. Uh, log in the rental code and play yourself.
Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, hit the like button down below and subscribe. Pokey Sports, if you haven't done so already. And have yourselves a phenomenal rest of your day. Remember, if you want to go ahead and post a rental code in the rental code's chat, go ahead and do so. Links to that are at pokesports.info. And if you want some more Pokey Sports in your life, join our Patreon, become a member as well. Anyway, thank you so much, Hoodly Doodly, for this team. Thank you so much for watching to the very end of the video as well. I'm Kevin Sports. Peace out and bye bye.